Howdy folks, if you are a subscriber to my channel, you probably saw my recent review of this Aklot steel tongue drum. And during the review, I had mentioned that it has this little rubber cap on the bottom. And so I had said that this would be, uh, if you wanted to electrify it, this would be a good contender for that. Well, guess what? I was bored. So at this point now we have an electric steel tongue drum. So as you can see from the exterior, that's the only change that you notice is that jack. Other than that, there's no other change to the exterior. And it still plays exactly the same. I didn't change anything about it. So the drum still operates exactly the same acoustically. But what I did is I added a pickup inside there. Um, and so what I'm gonna do here is show you how I did it. And then we'll do a few sound samples. Okay, first things first, you're gonna need a couple of parts. Um, you're gonna need a quarter inch mono jack and a piezo disc. Here is an example here. You see there is a quarter inch mono jack that I soldered to this disc here. Um, this one is not the same one that I used in the drum, but that was the last one of that size that I used. Um, these piezo discs come in several different sizes. Uh, I used a 20 millimeter for this drum. Uh, this here is a 27, I believe. And they come in a lot of different sizes. There's not really a huge difference in the different sizes as far as the way they work, or at least from the experiences that I've had. But sometimes a smaller or larger size may work better. A larger size is gonna work better on a nice flat surface because it has a lot to adhere to. Whereas if you have something like a curved surface, like for instance, this drum, um, you're probably gonna want a smaller disc. So I use like a 20 millimeter, but you're just gonna need a disc and a jack and some wire. This wire that you see here is a lot um, shorter than the wire that I used. I used this kind of a wire here and I cut off about six inch leads. You're gonna want enough that you can get from here and you're gonna need to put the pickup like right inside here. So you need about, you know, five, six inches. So you're gonna need a couple clips of wire. You're going to need a quarter inch mono jack and then you're gonna need a piezo disc. Um, now to prepare the drum, the first thing that you want to do is drill a 3 8 inch hole right here. Now this is a titanium alloy, or that's what Aklot claims, so I wasn't sure how hard it was gonna to be to drill. So what I did is I started with a smaller bit. I started with a bit about this size. By the way, these are my DeWalt carbide tipped uh, bits here. I started with a bit about this size, made a hole, it went right through it actually fairly easily, it didn't have too much trouble, so then I went ahead and drilled the 3 8 inch hole with this bit. So you are gonna need like a 3 8 inch bit. This is a fairly decent sized bit, but it actually goes through the drum without too much trouble. So I was able to drill that. And once you have that done, that's all the power tools that you'll need. So it's just one hole that you need to drill in the side of the drum, that's it. So after you drill the drum, then you're gonna wanna solder up your harness. Now remember, this is not the one that I use for this particular drum, but this is the idea. You're gonna to wanna to solder it up. And so you see there are two discs and your positive goes to the inner disc and your negative goes to the outer disc. Hopefully you can see that there. And then you solder them to the according uh, points on the jack. So make sure that you know how your jack works and all of that. Um, but that's about all there is to it. So then you solder this up and then you're ready to go. Plug your hot glue gun in, all right? And then to get this through there, there are various ways that you can fish something through, but I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. And what you do is you just get a piece of string. It can be heavy string or you know, it doesn't really matter, but get a piece of string and feed it in through the drum and pull the one end of the string out through here. So you've got one end here through the middle of the drum and you've got other, other end coming out the hole. And then what you're gonna do is on this end, on the end that comes out of the drum, go ahead and slide that string through your jack and tie a knot behind it so it won't pull out. Okay, so that's gonna be on the, on the string that comes out of the center of the drum. Then on the string that comes out through the jack hole, put your jack washer and your jack nut on that string. And then all you do is just pull that string through and that string will pull through and it will pull your jack right into that spot and then just slide that washer down over the jack and then, and then the, um, nut and get it in there finger tight and you'll be okay and you can use a, a wrench or a socket or something to tighten it the rest of the way but then once you get that far you can just let go of the the string and pull it back out through the hole and now the jack is mounted okay so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your hot glue gun plug that baby in get it warmed up 
And remember, this is gonna be inside of here, so your piezo disc is just gonna kinda of be hanging in here. Um, so you wanna have enough slack that you can get it through the hole. So again, I used about a six inch lead, but whatever works for you, okay? And then you're going to take some hot glue and lay some hot glue on the flat side, on the solid colored side, not on the double colored side over here. On the solid colored side, you're gonna go ahead and lay some, some hot glue and just get it on there real nice. Now keep in mind, hot glue sets in a matter of seconds, so you're just gonna kinda wanna pump a little glue on there. Don't spend too much time getting it even. I'll just drop that. <laughs> get a little glue on there and then just reach up and then just reach up in there and just press it against the metal. And you only have to hold it for a few seconds and that glue will set. And so after you hold it for a few seconds, then just turn it over and let that glue set, let it dry. It'll take, you know, a minute or so to dry. But it only takes a few seconds to set. And that's why I use the hot glue is it's real easy for that. And I tried to get a shot inside here so you could see the piezo with the jack and all of that. Um, it didn't come out real great. But um, that's how, that's basically what's gonna happen. So the hot glue is going to adhere it to the metal here and then it will pick up the vibrations and it will transfer them to a signal coming out of your jack and then you'll be able to plug this baby in. So that's really all there is to it. The only things you need are a piezo, a jack, a couple leads of wire and a hot glue gun and of course the drill bit to drill out the side. That's it. It takes you just a few minutes and you've got an electric steel tongue drum. So let's see how it sounds. All right, so I've taken the tongue drum here and I've plugged it into my little orange guitar amp. So you can see it's plugged in. And even if I just tap it, hopefully you can hear that. And I've got it dialed in on a fairly clean tone here. So uh, I'll just try a little something, see how it sounds. right away it is amplifying the sound I mean I've got this fairly turned down so it isn't overwhelming the camera but you can tell that the sounds being amplified out of the amp um, so you know that would obviously make the tongue drum louder but you can start adding effects so if I turn on the reverb over here oh there we go That sounds pretty cool. Let's see what happens if we kick in a little overdrive. Now, one thing I noticed with the overdrive, it does have a tendency to feed back. So you might want to keep your hands uh, on the tongues when you're not playing it, um, because of course it is going to pick up any vibrations, but it actually sounds pretty cool. video together real quick to show you what I did today but I can already tell you there's gonna be a future video where I'm gonna plug this into the modular synthesizer because that's the whole reason that I put the pickup in it I really just want to plug it in to the modular so that's coming talk to you later